Ah, Central Pack. Man, what a week to launch this show, eh? There's Microsoft Build 2018 and Google kicked off I.O. 2018 with a huge batch of news, so we better get to it. First off, we've got some details about Android P, which stands for... P, penis. No, that's inappropriate. P will have new navigation gestures that make it behave a lot more like the iPhone X and Samsung's Galaxy S9. Some people are calling Google out for copying, but apparently Palm did it first. Palm did everything first. P will also have AI-assisted adaptive battery technology, new app and search predictive abilities called Actions and Slices, and the ability to set time limits in certain apps, so that once you reach the time limit, the app's icon will be grayed out and you'll be unable to use it. <laughs> that pathetic. Google has to save us from ourselves. Now for the real mind blow, Google Assistant is getting more natural with the ability to fulfill multiple requests at once, so you can say, hey Google, navigate home, okay, and play my driving playlist. It will also have a wider range of voices to choose from, including John Legend, if you want to hear his voice all the time rather than only when you're drawing up a luxurious bubble bath. What? You don't do that? <laughs> my pee is blown. Oh, that sounds terrible. <laughs> I don't even want to repeat it. But not only that, Google Assistant will be able to make actual phone calls by itself to book appointments and make reservations for you. and. It's kind of creepy and amazing at the same time. Just listen. Go have something out for you. Hi, I'm calling to book a woman's haircut for a client. Um, I'm looking for something on May 3rd. Sure, give me one second. Mm-hmm. That was a real call you just heard. What? Those people don't even know they're talking to a robot. This is how the world ends with some ums and ahs. Okay, we gotta go fast now, Linus, you're slowing me down. I'm we gotta get even, through, there's I'm a even, lot of stuff to get through. I'm not even doing anything. Oh. This isn't making it faster. Gmail will basically just write your emails for you now with Smart Compose, if you just wanna finally accept your status as a shell of a former human. Google Lens will be embedded in the default camera app of certain phone models and will be able to copy text from images and find objects with similar styles in real time. Google's AR Core platform can now be used to have multiplayer experiences in AR. 3D tic-tac-toe is here. That's how you know it's the future. No one can find my style. <laughs> One of a kind, baby. If you were on Lens, no one would be like, how, what is this? I don't know how to <laughs> interpret it. <laughs> Socks and sandals? No one. Maps is getting lists, group event planning features, a For You tab with recommendations, and augmented reality walking directions using Google's Visual Positioning System, or VPS. Chromebooks will be able to run native Linux apps with the Pixelbook obviously getting the feature first, and Google announced the 3.0 version of its Tensor processing unit with over 100 petaflops of power. I'm not sure how petaflops translates to gigawatts. What do you think, Doc? I just want to know what the animal rights activists are going to think of this. Because petaflops. I get it. <laughs> One thing we didn't get to cover from Microsoft Build 2018 yesterday was the upcoming Windows Sets feature. Sets will essentially use Microsoft Edge as a browser for your entire PC when you what? open a new tab. You'll be able to not only open web pages, but also files and applications. This will allow you to keep separate windows with tabbed pages from multiple apps. It'll also work with timelines, so you can pick up using a group of apps from your laptop, Android, or iOS device, and alt tab between the tabs in one window. It seems like a pretty drastic design change, so, so we'll have to- I can crash everything with Edge. Yeah, you can crash whatever you want, all at one time. <laughs> it seems like a pretty drastic design change, so we'll have to wait to see when or if it makes it to the main release. In the meantime, you can use the separate desktops function in Windows, because that's essentially what that is, so. It's time for Quick Bits, my favorite, and Linus hates it. And today they're being brought to you courtesy of our bros at Dbrand. They've got awesome vinyl skins for laptops, phones, tablets, consoles, controllers, and pretty much anything else you'd want a skin to be on top of. They use high quality, authentic, true textured 3M vinyl on every product and feature unrivaled precision. In fact, they worked for over a year with 3M to research and develop skins for the Nintendo Switch. They use a unique adhesive to protect the console and Joy-Cons without damaging anything on removal. They got really close with 3M during that year and they're gonna go on a retreat this summer. Actually, it's gonna be wet and wild. With affordable pricing and worldwide shipping, they'll make you say, oh boy, do I want one of those D-brands to be my friend. 
Check it out at the link below. <laughs> On to the quick bits. Nintendo has finally released details about how its Nintendo Online service is going to work. While it will enable online play, cloud saves, and offer access to a selection of classic NES games, it will not bring the virtual console with it. So if you want to play the original versions of some GameCube and Wii games, eBay and Craigslist will welcome you with open arms. Dirty, sometimes sticky arms. Ew. But they're open. <laughs> Dota is adding its own battle royale mode, sort of, with a new mode called the Under Hollow, where multiple teams will quest through a dungeon fighting NPC monsters and each other before the labyrinth collapses. Maybe it'll end with you jumping on a bandwagon and riding out of there to safety. That's not bad. Flying cars are a cool idea, but it seems like as a society, we're just gonna settle on making small planes slash drones and calling them flying cars. Or at least Uber will. The company showed off their latest decidedly uncar like design recently. And sure, it's cool. It's just not a car. It's a plain helicopter bus thing. Which Linus likes to call. I got nothing. <laughs> He's got nothing. A plain helicopter bus thing. We can just call it that. NVIDIA claimed high refresh rate 4K monitors with G-Sync and HDR would be launching soon, and now it appears that the first one, the Acer X27, will finally be launching in the next few weeks. So buckle up, boys. And a German service called Games From Space promises to get you free games if you only let them mine cryptocurrency on your oh. GPU. This might be a bad idea for a number of reasons, primarily because electricity costs money and you might just end up paying more on your hydro bill, and secondly, we know the games aren't from space, guys. You think games are just floating around up there? They're not. Yeah. There's like nebulas, comets. <laughs> Get on with it. There's lots of stuff. And that is it for the second episode of TechLinked. I am so excited to be here, guys. It's kind of surreal. I was on the outside for so long that I feel like some kind of secret informant hey, or hey, something. Hey, hey. <laughs> you pimped that stuff on your own time. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry, I just felt the emotion. Anyway, you guys have been so nice to me on Twitter and stuff, but there will be many more episodes for us to reminisce and chat. Thanks for watching. We're working on t-shirts and stuff, so stay tuned for that. Subscribe to TechLink, hit the notification alarm bell thingy so you know when we go live. Love you so much, and I'll see you later, guys. See ya.